Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. And today in this video, we're going to create a bot that will create a website for us. Let me explain. Suppose you have a really good website and your friend or any client loves it and want a website similar like that. What you will do? You just go on the website and mess with the code and change all this stuff. Now, after watching this video, you don't have to do like that. In this video, I'm going to create a bot and show you how to create that bot which will create a website according to the details given by the user in just one click. Let me show you. So this is the code and whenever I click on run and then it's going to ask me some details like enter your name. Suppose this is my name and I need to write what is my passion. So let me write web developer. And then you will see a new index.html file has been created. And whenever I go over here and click on run, then you can see uh, the AI has created a website. AI has created a website for us, including the name. And I'm passionate web developer like about us. Isn't it amazing? Like, let me do another okay so let me go on my file and just run it and in the name right john and like you can write any uh work you like okay so let me go and you can see the name has been changed and i'm a passionate uh, graphic designer like it's amazing and uh, the, the website is looking pretty bad because I haven't done any styling and I haven't make it attractive. So you can put your code and you can make it like this. So I'm going to teach you about how to create this type of AI using Python. So sit back, relax and let's get started. So let me create a new file in Python and then first what we're going to do is just grab the user details. So, user detail. Here we will write user info. Now, here we will define things like name of the user. So, we will ask the name for the user. So, we will write input to your name. And then we will going to give a comma over here. And then we will write work and we will input it also so after the work what we're going to do is uh, create a dummy text like about so whenever the user inputs work like as a web developer then we're going to connect it with i am a passionate so like no we can do it uh, in our html so we am going to currently remove this and then uh, we're going to create a section called project projects and here it will be a array that is going to uh, collect all the projects so here we will write name and will be project one and then let's keep a comma and the project description it will be like you can do whatever you want this is my new project this is my project okay so now let's oh i need to open a curly bracket over here let's remove it to like this in a comma and let me copy the same thing okay so you can modify it according to your choice so i'm just doing like as a quick and you can add more detail like uh, this you can and then now let's head towards the next section which is contact contact let's see here in the contact we'll open a curly bracket and here we will write email wait email and then inside the email the email will be like so what if you ask the email to okay so we are going to ask email to by writing input enter your email 
and it's a comma and okay, so after the email will ask for his phone number number and other what do we can okay so that much after that uh, let us create a HTML template for it okay so let me write HTML template template now inside the HTML template you need to create what uh, like you need to create templates for the website like how the website will look like and all the things okay so let me write home page template home page template equals so we're going to write a lots of thing and a column so i'm going to give three like this okay so three three yes it's okay so now here inside here we need to like add our template so i have already a template in my like this so i'm going to copy copy all of this like basically you need to write your HTML template okay so let me go and uh, explain this so here we have created a HTML template inside here we have written the HTML code now here you can see the name so it will take the name from here okay and it will take the name from here and put it in the website title and like you can see okay i hope you got it and here we need to change a little bit about it about and work so here we have asked the user for work so here we'll write web developer or anything he will write and then here you it will be a project section and here email phone number and we're going to remove this github and yeah like this so now our html template has been completed okay so after that what we're going to do is let's create another template called project template and let's give it like this and wait okay so here what we're going to do is just create an li li and here we will write in yats3 yats3 here it will be name let's close this yats3 so after the yats3 we will going to open a paragraph and here we will write description description we need to write it inside the curly bracket and let's close that p also and let's close that eli2 now we have done so now what we're going to do is just we're going to uh, generate the project leads okay so we have done like over here projects name and description so now we're going to generate the project list so like generate project list and here project list will be inside the double column we will write for for project in for project in what we have user info user info for projects in user info we are going to like this and write projects project and we need to give it like this okay. after that it will uh, take all the projects and project load as list and we will write plus equals to project template dot format and here we will write name equals project name and we need to write it inside the double column project name and of that let's give it a comma and 
command here the enter so we need to make it a little description equals project and here we will write project description and i think that will work okay so after that okay so let me go and show you okay here you will see a date over here for the copyright section so we're going to do it or we're going to fetch it from the time so what we're going to do is in the top or you can do it like in this in the bottom also okay so you can write from import date time and here we will write current year we are going to create a variable current year equals so we are going to get it from the date time dot date time dot now dot here so it will help us to get the value so it's a function over here so we need to write like this yeah now it will give us the current date okay now uh, after that what we're going to do is combine all the data with the html template i mean we're going to combine all of this data with this html template okay so i hope you got the point so what we're going to do is just create a variable home page equals home page load as template dot format and inside the format we will give like name equals user info and here it will be an array here we will write name and just give a comma and just copy all of the things okay so let me copy this and paste it over here paste it over here and after that we have work so let me change work and then what we have work and yeah we have up to work only so we will write projects equal project list and we will write comma and but it's time for email equals user info not contact contact and we will give another like this and here we will write email so we'll get this email and after the email what we have phone number phone here we'll write so let me remove this ENO, the any on the phone and phone over here. I think it's okay. Now let's save it and create a new file. So, so here we'll write with open. With open index.html, we're going to write it. So we'll write w, and here we'll write as file. Write file dot write. What we want to write? This home page. Okay. So we'll write home page, and that's it. Now we have done. So let me remove this projects. Yes and let's go and run it so i have already an index.html let me delete it and click on run then we got some error at projects so okay so we need to do like this now let's run into your name wait let me keep some space over here so that it will look a way more better and let me run it again we run and name will be john work will be web web developer email will be john at the rate 
email.com phone number will be just some random number so we got some either a project list line number 70 just found that either so i have just make spelling error over here so i need to write i also uh, okay so now this is the code and let me click on run and you can see okay so it is asking, asking me some things so let me write john one two and work will be graphic designer and gmail will be john dot com and phone number just some random number and let's see the enter you can see the index.html has been created and now let me go and run it hmm you can see john one two i'm a passionate graphic designer and email and contact has also been changed okay so just to make sure let me uh, run it again okay so let me run and name will be adam and work will be web dip email will be and just some random number let's go and see and you can see the name adam and passionate web dev and all the thing okay so likewisely you can create a board that will create a website for you within a click uh using this method and i'm gonna keep the source code down below so you can have access over here and now i have connected this style.css so it's showing like this okay so you can make it a way better okay so yeah that's much for the today's video see you in the next video till then take care bye bye